And this is like a whole set of baby tiny cute makeup. Hey, that's not exciting. <laughs> Prish. Did I say Prish? About to shame Prish. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I was pretty much sticking to almost the exact same makeup look all week. And it was pretty much just kind of like a bronzy sort of an eye look and a neutral lip. So I really only have two lip favorites and then I'm pretty much gonna talk about the eye look that I did and then I have a couple of blush favorites. So it was pretty much just this makeup look that I was doing most every day this week, but I really, really like it and I have some stand out favorites. So let's jump into it. Probably don't even need to mention this because you guys can probably already guess. I didn't paint my nails again this week. I have just been so lazy with my nails I really need to get back into that because I love nail polish. I think it's really pretty, but I'm just lazy with it. And I really need a pedicure or I need to paint my toenails myself because they look real scary. So on to the eye favorites. So for a base this week, I have been wearing my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Amethyst. I love this thing. Like, I know that these are expensive for being an eye base, which typically like, I don't know, something about spending like 20 something dollars for an eye stick. It's just like, oh, I hate that. But I love this one. It is just so gorgeous. I am wearing this as my base today. It's just like a slightly purpley, taupey sort of a color, but it's just got this like shift to it. And I feel like it goes really well under a lot of neutrals. So it goes well under taupes, it goes well under purples, it goes well under bronzy sort of shades, like champagne sort of colors. It really can like change the look of your eye look or just pair really well with it. So I love this. They're really long wearing. They really are great. They just glide on the eyes. They're just pricey, but I would say if you invest in one, Amethyst is a gorgeous color. So in last week's Friday favorites, I mentioned I've been watching quite a bit of HSN and QVC this week. So I have another QVC favorite and it is this Laura Geller set. I think this was called like the Mediterranean Journey something or other. And it came with the foundation, the, what's it called? The Balance and Brighten, Balance and Brighten? Is that what it's called? Her powder foundation. It came with that, came with a bronzer, an eyeshadow duo, a liner, um, a lip product, and a brush. And it was, a, I think it was like right around $60, which the price has gone up because it was a today's special value, but it's still a really good value. Like it's still at least half the price, if not less. So anyway, I have some favorites from that and I had just been loving this set. Mainly these three products, but these three products are like so good. So first off, I've been using the bronzer and I've been using this on my eyes, which I don't, I don't know why I'm using bronzers on my eyes a lot lately, but I just am and I'm really liking them. So this is the Laura Geller Baked Mediterranean Bronzer in Moroccan Bronze. The outside packaging is just beautiful. I love it. And I think this is exclusive to QVC and maybe even this set right now but this is what it looks like. I have been using this on my face as well, like as a bronzer, but also on my eyes, and I am wearing it today. It's pretty warm toned, so it's it's definitely gonna give you that like summery, sort of a bronzy look, but it's really, really pretty. It's got like, I don't know, it's not glittery, but it, it doesn't seem totally matte, so it's almost like it's got like a satin sheen to it, but I mean, you can see, it's it's a pretty warm tone bronzer, but I really, really like this. It just gives that beautiful bronzy glow, both to the skin, but also on your eyes. Like I have this in my crease and it just brings this like warmth to the eye look. I love it, oh my gosh. Really, you could just wear this on your eyes. I mean, if you're trying to get out the door, throw some bronzer on, throw some bronzer in your crease, like on your eyelid even, and you're out the door, so. Really, really pretty. It blends nicely on the face as well as on the eyes. And I just think it's gorgeous. I think it's really, really pretty. Even like looking at it in the pan, it just, I don't know. It just like looks summery and Moroccan and then, or Mediterranean, Moroccan? Mediterranean, Mediterranean journey. Yeah, it just, it looks beautiful and I really like it. And then the eyeshadow duo, this is the Baked Color Intense Shadow Duo in Stone and Terracotta. 
So I'm wearing this on my eyes today and I have stone on kind of the inner half of my lids and then I have terracotta in my outer corner and then kind of blend it into my crease. And these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love them individually, but you can also swirl them together, which also makes a really pretty color. And I mean, it, it's just beautiful and they blend really nicely. They've worn well, they're easy to work with. I was trying to remember, I don't think I've ever tried her shadows before, but I mean, they are so pretty. I don't know, and just something about them, like using them like feels summery because they're, I love bronzy makeup. Like I love bronzy eye looks and taupe eye looks. Just, I don't know why, but doing that kind of makeup look just, and like a fun lip, right now I'm wearing a more neutrally pink lip, but like a fuchsia lip. I've mentioned this before. I love like a bronzy eye look or a taupey eye look with a fuchsia lip. Like that's probably my favorite makeup look, but something about these colors on the eyes just puts me in a good mood. I don't know why, it just does. So I'm gonna show you individually and then I'm gonna show you them swatched together because they're really pretty that way too. Oh my gosh. Together might be my favorite. So that's stone individually, that is terracotta by itself, and that is swirled together. Oh my gosh, so amazing. So you can use these dry, you can use these wet. So what I did is I applied stone um, with a wet brush. So I got that kind of more of a sort of a foiled effect. Just bronzy and beautiful. I love these. So now I totally wanna to try more of her shadows because I totally overlooked them, but I have been really, really enjoying this. And I've also really been liking the liner. This is the Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Eyeliner, and this is in Smoky Taupe Coal. So I've been wearing this kind of like smudged on my upper lash line, but also smudged on my lower lash line, which it's not the longest wearing on my lower lash line. So I have noticed like it'll smudge a little bit on my lower lash line. So I kind of have to like wipe a little bit, but what I like it for is that it really glides on so smoothly. I mean, it doesn't tug, it doesn't drag at all, and it really does smudge out so nicely. So, I mean, if you don't wanna have to worry about the smudging problem, I wouldn't put it on your lower, la lower lash line like I've been doing. Setting it with a powder does help, but I mean, it still does move. But for that smudgy look on the upper lash line, for it not to drag, I really love it for that. So it's like kind of like a thicker sort of a pencil. Like, honestly, kind of like the um, uh, Laura Mercier ones, except this isn't, well, yeah, actually kind of inconsistency. They're, they're pretty similar. Yeah. So it's just a really, really dark brown, like almost black, which is so pretty. I love that kind of a dark brown. So let me show you kind of like smudged out. It just smudges so easily but like in a good way. Like it'll smudge, but then it'll set. Yeah, so I love it. But like I said, I wouldn't put it on your lower lash line if you don't wanna have to worry about kind of like watching, but if you're just looking for a good smudgy liner that's not gonna tug on your eyes, I really like this. I don't know if this, I don't know which of these products, I don't think any of them are available outside of that set yet, but maybe soon. So I think the only option right now is that said, which I really have been loving this week. On my cheeks this week, I've actually been loving one of the Benefit, um, what are these called? Lip and Cheek Stains, which actually I mentioned one of these in my blush tag as kind of being uh, not practical because I just, I find them to be more high maintenance, but this one I found to be easier to use than Lolly Tint. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just like the tone of it or Maybe it's newer or something, I'm not really sure, but I have a little baby one and I got it in this set. My mom gave me this set and I'm assuming she got it from probably HSN. So I'll try to find this set and link it for you. So you get three little baby ones, which I love because I'd rather, I love little baby makeup. So if you like little baby tiny cute makeup, then this is like a whole set of baby tiny cute makeup. So I have been using Posey Tint and I am wearing this today. I do have something over it that I'm about to share with you. But Posey Tint is just a really pretty, like, pinky color. Let me try to show it to you, like, straight on and then kind of, like, blend it a little bit. These are so hard to show in a swatch. This is just going to be like, hey, that's not exciting. <laughs> 
So there it is full on, and there it is kind of blended. But just a really pretty pink. And I don't know, something about this one I found to be easier to use than Lolly Tint has been for me. But yeah, really cute. I mean, very long wearing because it's a stain. My camera just cut me off, rude. But yeah, just a really pretty pink and I feel like it's kind of that like effortless sort of, you know, a cheek look that if you just want something you don't have to worry about, you can just, you know, put a little bit of it on. So I would dab it on like with the actual little applicator, like do 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 and then use my small stipple brush to kind of blend it in and then it's a stain, it's gonna be there the rest of the day and yeah. And I think this little set is a good idea like if you want to try these, then you're not committed to a huge you know, the giant size and what if you're not happy with it. This way you've got like three different ones that you can kind of see what you think about them. And they're cute and little and baby and tiny and adorable. And also my cheeks this week, I've been loving my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. I love these blushes. They are expensive, but I love them. You know, I bought one of the Becca Luminous blushes. I got um, Foxglove. And I'm just not like right off blown away by them. At least not that one. And I don't know if, I'm wondering if it's the color I got. And I tried it in the middle of the day. I haven't tried it from the beginning of the day, like to see kind of how it wears and when my makeup is fresh. I kind of applied it in the middle of the day just to sort of look at it. But I just wasn't blown away by it, at least for the price tag. So. I don't know because I know everybody is saying great things about them so I don't know I'm guessing that maybe I need a different color like maybe Camellia or like Tiger Lily those are the two I'm thinking about but I don't know so let me know what you think about them maybe I just maybe I haven't given it given it a fair shot and maybe I got a, a color that doesn't work for me so let me know what you think that was a tangent all that to say this is a higher priced blush too. So I think they're around the same price. I think they're both like 34 price. Did I say price? About to shame price. I think they're around $34 each. So this is around 34, I think, but I love these blushes because they just give like, I don't know, this sort of a glow to your skin. And Mood Exposure is just that like go-to sort of a blush. Like if you are wanting a makeup look where you just don't have to think about it, you want something easy, this is gonna be it. And I think because it has that like warmth to it, this is a blush I can skip bronzer when I wear something like this because it kind of gives that warmth to the cheeks. So just makes it easier to do your makeup. You know what I mean? And I absolutely love it. So, so pretty. And these like blend into the skin beautifully. They wear really nicely. I just love them. They're expensive, but I think they're awesome. For lips this week, I went pretty neutral and easy. So I have a couple standouts. One is a gloss. This is the Lorac Ultra Ego Lip Gloss in Socialite. Just a really pretty nude color. I think I heard about this from my friend April. Wanna make up? I think it was her that she mentioned it in a video and I put it on my want list and I picked it up and I have been loving it because it is just a beautiful nude color. And I mean, for a gloss, this has like really good color payoff. Really, really pretty. So it's kind of like a warm sort of a nude color. And I mean, this is one of those, you can just throw this in your purse. This is gonna go with everything because it's a nude. But even though it's a gloss, it's got some good color payoff. I think these are really comfortable glosses too because they're right in between being really super duper comfortable but not long wearing and not super tacky and you know it's either they're really comfortable and not long wearing typically or really tacky and long wearing this is right in between so it's a really comfortable formula really pretty color and they smell really good oh my gosh like cake batter dessert so yummy same as the um alter ego lipsticks so love the scent of it really beautiful color love it and then lastly is one of the new sephora rouge shine lipsticks oh my gosh i love this lipstick i really really like the outside packaging i think it's pretty that it's that kind of like brushed nickel is that what it's called sort of a look i don't know but anyway i like the outside packaging this is in the color 63 number 63 and it's something darling like oh my darling something my darling I don't know. I'll find it and I'll list it down below for you. 
but this color oh my goodness i'm wearing this right now it's like a mauvey pink but it's got like a shine to it that is like a gloss it is amazing and i can't really tell like it almost seems like it has micro shimmer but i don't feel any micro shimmer but like on my lips i feel like there might be just looking not not based on like how it feels but I don't know I just love it so much I love how shiny it is it's really comfortable feels hydrating on the lips really really beautiful now I did buy three more colors of these I think I got love letter something holiday and then I think private jet and I'm not as excited about those so I think it kind of depends on the color but this one is a total yes. I absolutely love it. I would say definitely if I mean if you like it in a swatch, if you like this sort of a color, I think you would like this one. Oh my gosh. Cuz the formula is really nice, but a lot of it has to do with the color. It's just so pretty. All right guys, those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.